welcome back to the channel. Now, it has been gee, about a month since I've last been on, so it has been quite a while, and boy have things changed for the worse. Yeah, uh, as you may be aware by now, the coronavirus has affected a bunch of people's lives. I was trying to think of a word there for bunch, but that's the that's the best I could think of. A bunch of people's lives, and yeah, it's 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 changed people's lives dramatically. Um, so, as most of you guys came and go aside, I figured I'll start again by continuing this channel with the usual videos, and I'm mostly, in fact, all of it, all the videos from this point forward until the situation gets better is mostly going to be on my tech at home. Uh, so throughout the weeks I've been searching throughout the house of what tech there is and I didn't realize how much old tech I have. So I'm going to start off with something that I'm not sure a lot of you guys might even remember, uh, particularly our young audience who's watching this channel. Um, yeah, let me let me just dive into it. So we have this guy, uh, this ginormous thing that we have with a lens at front, and uh, you might be thinking what this is. Um, I, I bet most of you know what this is, but for those who don't, uh, this, as I'm sure you know by the title by now, is a camcorder. So uh, yeah, this is this is uh, what we use to record video. Nowadays, we use uh, our smartphones for wherever my smartphone is. Oh. Ah. Nowadays, we use this fella that does 4K and 60 FPS and slow motion and nowadays even 8K and 100x zoom and whatnot, all on this device. Whereas before, we couldn't do any of those things, only record video on this ginormous humongous heavy thing. This does bring back some memories and I've said it in my main channel for my intro or for the latest video. If you haven't checked that out, I'll have it in the link in the description. Uh, but yeah, this this does bring back memories and for a start off, look at look how look how thick this viewfinder is. This is wow. And the bezels around the viewfinder and the screen is ah, uh, th those were their early two thousands days. And this is a LCD 120 or 360p, maybe, tops? And there's a bunch of buttons here and there that most of them I don't even know how to use. So probably the biggest thing in this device that you can actually remove is the battery. And I have a couple new ones over there too that haven't been used at all. But if we take this out, what we have here is a 7.4 volt with 2500 milliamp power. So 2500 milliamp hours. Now just to get that into perspective, our current smartphones have around 4000 milliamp hour. Yeah, 4000 milliamp hour on our smartphones. And this big boy has 2500 milliamp hours. So yeah, times have changed. Times have changed. Other notable classic items or classic tech on this camcorder is the bezels that I mentioned earlier on the viewfinder and of course we have our adjustable what did you say uh, viewfinder uh, small viewfinder I don't know. I'm just making up words here at this point um, inside we have our play index delete plus or minus memory mix stuff like that for our memory card which this doesn't have. Uh, and then, what definitely makes you sure that this is an antique tech is that we have our cassette. So, in order to make this better, so what we have here, so you basically press up if you want to record, or you press down, ah, whoops, press down if you want to play video. And for that, this lights up. So, this, as you can probably imagine, is for the cassette, which I bet most of you don't even know what that is. So, do you guys remember these things? Well, this this one's actually still brand new, but here, these 
these things, these are cassettes. This is even before I think, well, DVDs were, or CDs were coming into the norm, but this is what we used to play our videos on. Yeah. These, these things. You can see, you can see the role that they have. If you look underneath, this one's empty. This one's going to transfer it to that. And that's once it goes along the side, it reads what's coming along and that's how it plays the video. So what we have here is like I mentioned earlier, you have your different things right here. You can see you can have your stop, rewind, play, fast forward, pause, record, all the usual things that you see on modern cameras. But the really nice thing about this camcorder is that the mechanical noises that it makes. It, it, I like mechanical things and this is no exception. This, this thing has some of the best classic sensational mechanical noises that you don't really get to experience anymore. So all you do if you want to play a cassette on the camcorder is take these guys, open this up, yeah, open this up, press eject, listen. Sounds so cool. I don't, and you can see the internals too on the inside. I don't know if you can see that clearly on the camera, but if you zoom in, hang on, you can see all the internals of how it plays on the camcorder. So cool. I don't know about you guys, but that's really cool. All right, so what you do is then basically insert this the correct way, right? And then you just push it in. Listen. Ooh, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but Huh, it, it's such a good sounding. It's such a good uh, sound. The camera won't really do it justice here, but as you can see, uh, 100 and what, what say, 181 minutes of record time, which is actually kind of plentiful, given that it only has a 20, 2500 milliamp hour battery. But as you can see here, the recording isn't that great. Um, there's no autofocus, obviously. The dynamic range, there isn't any. Uh, the color, color science, uh, it's adequate, at best, probably. And then, once you close it again. Man, early 2000s, man. Those, those were the good days, in terms of tech. Those were the good days. All right, so beyond that, though, just thought I would show you guys a bit of a bit of classic tech, although this isn't as classic as some other tech out there. But I mean, shoot, this is this is probably the first. Is it the first? Yeah, it was probably the first video camera that we ever got as a family, and yeah, we had some pretty good experiences with this this ginormous ginormous device and I'm sorry because there's a truck outside that's passing by and the windows open so I do apologize for that audio but what I was saying is that this this does bring a lot of good memories and I'm sure you guys have a lot of cool old although not as classic tech at your homes all right, so with that, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure to tune back in for more classic videos. No, old videos. Old, old tech, old tech videos. Old tech videos. That's a good name. I should, I should, I should, yeah, that's a good name. All right, let's leave it at that. So tune back in for some old tech videos. And until then, I'll see you guys in the next time. Peace out.